All right, you guys, we're on page 103 today. We're working on module five, lesson 15. If you need to pause and get ready, go ahead. So you probably noticed that just like yesterday, we don't have an application problem. So we're gonna do the first of our word problems together. It says, the length of the flower bed is four times the width. If the width is three eighths inches, what is the area? So I want you to go ahead, pause me and circle your clue words. All right, the length of the flower bed. So we know we have length that we're working with is four times. Now when I think of four times, I think four, our multiplication symbol, as long as it's width. So length times width, okay, I have an idea of what's happening here. If the width is three inches, or three meters, sorry, what is the area? So I know area is length times width. And I know a flower bed is going to be rectangular. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to switch back to my other marker and I'm going to draw a rectangle. But before I do that, I'm gonna have you pause, do your me over here, and we'll do our us over here, just like every other day. And you can go ahead, pause me, and solve the problem. All right, hopefully you've solved it on your own. And now here we go together. So the flower bed. Is four, the length of the flower bed is four times as long as its width. So it's gonna be four times W. We need to figure out what W is. If the width, okay, that's our W, is three eighths meter, or three eighths. Three eighths meter, what is the area? So before we can solve for the area, we have to solve for the length first. And we found our formula is gonna be four times three eighths. So, if you didn't get this part, pause and go ahead and try to solve this on your own. For those of you who maybe forgot, I know that it's been going well with everyone I've worked with, but if we're multiplying fractions, four is like saying four over one, right? That's four times three eighths. And with multiplication, it's super simple. We just multiply across. So four times three is 12, and one times eight is eight. So our measurement over here, our length is 12 over eight, which if we convert that back into a fraction will be one and four eighths. One and four eighths is the same as one and one half. And we're using meters. So one and one half meters by three eighths meters. So I really like what we've been doing with area models, so I'm gonna continue using that model. So down below, I'm gonna draw a little separate one, three eighths here, one, and I'm gonna separate my half. Go ahead, pause me if you need to to solve. Three eighths times one is just gonna be three eighths. And then three eighths times one half is going to be three sixteenths. So now we have Three eighths and three sixteenths, we're gonna to need to combine them together to get our area. So three eighths and three sixteenths. Let's see, when I'm adding, I know that I need a common denominator. So three eighths, three sixteenths, I know I can use 16 as my common denominator. So three sixteenths plus eight times two is 16, and three times two is six. Six plus three equals nine over 16, nine sixteenths. Oops, I just realized you can't see. Nine sixteenths meters and it's area, so we know that means you're right, squared. I hope you're right. And then right now I'd like you to pause if you did not get a chance to write your sentence. All right, so the length of the flower bed is four times as long as its width. If the width is three eighths meter, what is the area? So my sentence starter would just say the area of the flower bed. The area of 
the flower bed. Is nine sixteen meters squared. Please, please, please don't forget your unit. 